This afternoon, we're in sunny Tampa, Florida for the fifth annual Hall of Fame Bowl. In the very first matchup between the Fighting Illini of the University of Illinois and the Tigers of Clemson University. And the weather is like it's been all week long. Absolutely perfect. Game time temperature 85 degrees in the forecast for more of the same. Thomas and Ryans back deep waiting for the kickoff. For the University of Illinois, Corey Wells has it teed up. At the 35, the freshman from Belleville, Illinois, gets it underway in the fifth annual Hall of Fame Bowl. It'll be taken by Doug Thomas. He's across the 10. And a solid return. He's wrestled down finally at the 27-yard line. The offensive line for the Clemson Tigers, Bratton, Flesh, Mike Brown getting the start. The regular starting center, Curtis Whitley, not in there. It'll be interesting when we see that matchup with Mo Gardner, the nose tackle for the Fighting Illini. Eric Harmon and Stacey Long on the right side. The consensus All-American in the backfield is Sean Cameron. He started every game this year. Great option quarterback, Hall and Williams, also in there. And the pitch to the freshman, the ACC Rookie of the Year, Ronald Williams, across the 30 to the 31. Up front, Walker, Gardner, and Agee. A very solid group for the Fighting Illini. Pulaski, Bryce, Brownlow, and Henkel. Watch Derek Brownlow, number 48. He is the emotional leader for that defensive unit. Green, Jones, Parker, and Primus. A very, very good group in the secondary. Second and six for Clemson. So we're just underway. And play action. Back to Sean Cameron. We'll get a couple of yards, maybe three. Tony Dorsett comes to mind. They hit 40% of their third down conversions. And they'll try to get it with a pass. And it's over the middle for the freshman Terry Smith, the leading receiver for the Tigers. The youngsters at the talent spots. The pass to Jack Thomas is complete. Close to another first down. And Ahmad, this has to be a surprise. To be and a member of Clemson's ACC Championship 4 by 100 meter relay team. So speed to burn for Doug Thomas at the wideout position. Ronald Williams cutting it back. Not much available up the middle. An impressive start for the Clemson offense. And it's second and seven inside Illinois territory at the Illini 38. The delay to Ronald Williams. Henkel got him around the ankles. They call it third and seven. They just conferred it on him. Key third down to get into Illinois territory. Is Sean Cameron throwing once again. He's got a man. It's complete for the first down to Terry Smith. Cameron, it's completed 48% of his passes over the course of the season. He is very, very sharp so far. Throwing behind the receiver and almost intercepted. And all three have come through the air. Williams is the motion man on second and ten. And again, another pass for Deshaun Cameron. The receiver wide open. Doug Thomas has it. It's another Tiger first down. So the pass. Playing up big for Clemson. Ronald Williams. Good lateral pursuit. Harlan's only play for Vince's brother there, Chris Ferragamo. Second, close to eight. The again for Williams. Tough running. He's down to the ten. So a third and four. Get the action. And it's a first down for Deshaun Cameron, weaving his way inside the five of the four-yard line. Well, Deshaun Cameron handing off to Ronald Williams. He bangs it straight ahead. This is the 13th play of this drive. It started back at the Tigers 27. It's at the Illinois 3. Williams on the pitch. Really had problems. Tigers looking into the third and goal. Third and goal from the three. They're three of three on third down conversions. Double snap by Deshaun Cameron. Still squirts forward for about a yard to the two. He's also one of the best punters of the nation. Fourth best in punting the football. 19-yard attempt to chip shot. And the Clemson Tigers have the lead. So a long drive culminates in three points for the Tigers as we'll be right back to Tampa. They score touchdowns, not field goals. Gardani is into it. Lynch and Hamner back deep. Lynch, the lane, and is going to bring it out after a moment of indecision or what a mistake. He barely got it across the 10. Hopkins, Simpson, Lovelace, Pepper, and Laster. Big offensive line for the Fighting Illini. For Dusko in his first year as the starting quarterback, taking over for Jeff George. Flanked to the backfield by Griffith and Lester. Turner and Wax the wideouts with Finky. A very good one at the tight end position. 
So first and ten for Illinois. Griffin starts in the backfield, and they've got a change now. Camino Bell's in there. And it's a fumble to the first play for Illinois. Loose ball. John Johnson, I believe, has it. Yes, John Johnson plunges it with the recovery. Why not have been outscored 90 to 51 in the first quarter this year? Clemson, first and 10 from the 14 yard line. And Cameron throwing. It's complete. Touchdown, Tigers. Doug Thomas. Cramp in, and then you got to go with your power. Very docky. Has hit now 70 straight extra points, and it's been all Clemson so far. The first career TD for Doug Thomas. We'll be right back to Tampa. But the senior from Hamlet, North Carolina, first catch for his score. Another great kickoff by Gardaki. Lynch, this time, will keep it right there. Bell and Griffith in the backfield. Play action for Produsco. Trailing by 10. And a wide open shot. Complete for a first down across the 35 to the 36. Clemson defensive unit after that 16-yard reception. McLaughlin, Davis, and Hammond up front. Kirkland, Brewster, McDaniel, and Johnson, the linebackers. Brewster and McDaniel, the two leading tacklers for the Tigers. And in the secondary, Henderson, Davis, Nunn, and O'Neal. You are going to see a very powerful arm by Jason Produsco. He can throw the ball well. Griffin working his way out of the backfield into the secondary. Another Illinois first down across the 45, out of the 48-yard line. It was a thrill, a real honor. He's the single set, double tight end formation for Verduce going first down. It's Sean Watson, he can't hang on. A big hit up line by Robert O'Neill. Sets up on the same side as Stephen Mueller on second and 10. Oh, it's Vega. Not much. We've got eight of them that are all tough. Verduzco operate out of the shotgun on third and just about ten. Pressure coming, and he's down. John Johnson, the outside linebacker. The first sack for the Tigers. 3-8-40. A 39-yard average this year for Forey Wells. It's a low-line drive taken by O'Neal at the 30. Breaks the first one with a flag down on the play. Wells. Clipping on the run-back team. 15-yard penalty. Those 63 yards, more yards they had through the air already than they've had in three games this year as Cameron runs the option. Up to 25, near a first down. Back up under his own power, made it over to the bench. Here's Blunt on the carry for Clemson. The time possession is that way because of their ability to throw the ball. Doug Thomas, the motion man. Cameron holding on to it. Zitnik has taken over. Number 97 is Cameron, who's throwing on 35. Doug Thomas has it again. He is, I believe, a little bit short of the first down. He was right at the marker. Just a matter of inches for the Clemson Tigers. Hard average. Sends out a beautiful spiral. Going back, Mueller, to his own 13-yard line. And he's wrapped up. Crossing the 20. And Griffith in the backfield. available again. As Illinois brought down 138 people. The pitch for Griffin tripped up. It's third and four. Out of the shotgun for Dusko with time. Pressure comes. He can't get rid of it. John Johnson there. So Clemson doing a fine job, even though they haven't seen a passing attack quite like this. With that athletic ability, they're hold, they are covering the receivers very well. Corey Wells with a short wobbler. Touched by Hankel. Up close to the Clemson 49. <laughs> Obviously technical difficulties. Whoa! Cameron on the pitch for Ronald Williams. Bounce it in the backfield. Mo Gardner's back in there. Well, he's Illinois. All-time leader in tackles for loss. And he's putting pressure on Cameron now as it's thrown behind the intended target, Ronald Williams. About a third and 13, back of their own 46. Will they waste this great field position? Cameron with plenty of time going for the home run for Terry Smith. And it's poked away at the last minute by Henry Jones. Hockey, his first punt, 54 yards. Kicking away to Stephen Mueller once again. This one hangs up, Mueller. 
Bradbury catch. Hit at the nine. And falls forward on the final play of the first quarter. Up to the 11-yard line. So when we return, Clemson is giving the ball back to Illinois. But the Illini battling their way back uphill. First and 10 to their own 49. And they went three snaps and a punch. Out back to Illinois. who has got it now at the 11-yard line. Verduzco under the lay to Griffin. Griffin bouncing outside with good yardage. Second and two from the 19 for Illinois. Wagner Lester is first carry. 13 and one. Now it's third. And close to three, Howard Griffith trying to pick the first down on the ground. And I believe he's short. He got to the 21. He had to go across the 21. The ball in those tough situations. Otherwise, you're not going to win. Corey Wells, end over ender, taken by Dexter Davis. And again, great field position for the Clemson Tigers. Two minutes into the second quarter, he's only tried two passes. While well, Deshaun Cameron has been throwing it effectively. Now about the fingertips of Terry Smith, so coming into the game. Deshaun Cameron now 6 of 10, a total of 67 yards. Throwing the ball for the 11th time, or will he run it? He'll bounce to the outside and get positive yardage. Third and five, the ball to the 48 of Illinois. And Ronald Williams goes in motion. Cameron with a wide open receiver. Doug Thomas for a tiger first down. It's to the Illinois 30 in front of Henry Jones. Cushion. The dive play goes to Howard Hall. Over the season. Second and seven. Cameron ready to put it up once again. And as a man wide open, it's complete. Here's Larry Lyons. They're running it on first down. Ronald Williams can't get out of the backfield. Passing situation for the Tigers. Cameron looking over the middle, wide open. He's in. Touchdown, Clemson. Runaway building. Gardaki. Through to four with the extra point. It has been a dominating start today by the Clemson Tigers. Howard Hall lines up in the backfield just a little. He checks. No assignment. Now here he comes. That's a play. Catches the ball. Now watch him start heading for that goal line. The guys aren't in a hurry to get up off the ground to try to come up and stop him. Ten and a half left in the first half. Tigers by 17. Gardaki with another Superman-like effort. Lynch at the back line of the end zone. The Illini with only two first downs so far. Bringing in the new year with a bang, Paul McGuire. Verduzco, trailing by 17, puts it up. And it's taken in. Gus Palma with a great grab. Exactly 10 minutes left of the first half. 17 to nothing, Clemson. Play action. Verduzco under throwing and fortunately under throwing Jeff Finke on third and six at the 24-yard line for the Illini down by 17. John Wright goes in motion. Verduzco finds some time. Intercepted. Picked off by Arlington Nunn. He may take it all the way. Touchdown Tigers. They were going to let their athletic ability be the key in stopping this Illinois pass offense. So Arlington Nunn returning the interception for the touchdown. Arlington He's Nunn. back home, and what a treat for him. He grew up right here in Clearwater, just across the Tampa Bay. Well, they don't, uh, they don't want to make a habit of making these huge comebacks, but they will have to in order to get into this game. Another great kickoff by Chris Gardaki. And so on. So that, I guess that helped a little bit knowing Coach, you know, Coach wanted me to do both from the... Second and three from the 27. Finky with a tight end in motion. Pocket holding it up. Flag down to the play. He wanted Sean Wax. Holding. And it's second and 14 from the 16. Bell and Griffith in the backfield. Pressure again. 
Verdusco on the comeback. Almost an incredible grab over on the near side. And now a third and 16. Verdusco only two or six so far. Plenty of time and a wide open. Mueller. Mueller has the first down. Falling down. Studies and he plans on going on to school next year and not even thinking about playing professional football. That is only the third first down for Illinois. Fink. Fingertip control. He's got the catch outside of the 42. You're close in a lot of areas. That's close. Second and six. And trying to come up with the reception, it was Steve Fagan. Was trailing by 24. Verdusco trips to the near side out of the shotgun. It's for Sean Wax. Great grab by Wax. The senior added 6-4. He is the only Illinois wide receiver that could have brought that one down. First and 10 in Clemson territory. Verdusco with time to dump off to Howard Griffin. He loses the ball, but they say he's down to the 46. A lucky break for Illinois. Otherwise, this thing was turning around and going the other way. Verdusco warming up a little bit, hitting four of his last five as Griffin gets to the outside, diving to the 40-yard line. Saw the marker. Bell taking over for Howard Griffith. Verdusco, four of his last five. That's deflected. That's intercepted by Clemson. Chuck O'Brien with the interception. And now they've got it back, leading by 24. First and 10 at the 37. The give going to Rudy Harris. Harris bouncing outside for a first down and that handoff from the backup quarterback, Richard Moncrief. They've got depth at running back. And as I mentioned, Moncrief stays in there at quarterback. He'll throw his first one. No, he'll run it too. And he's got room down to the 45 of Illinois. He's short of the first down by three. But all of a sudden, I think that Illinois has not seen team speed like Clemson has. Into the fullback, Rudy Harris again. All the time, I've heard you all week long. That's right. He's at the 41. Lungs into the backfield. The second man going nowhere. What do you think it'd be imperative to put points on the board before they head to the halftime locker room? But first, they've got to stop Clemson. They may get more before it's all over at halftime. First pass by Moncrief. The sound ball by Blunt. Blunt has opened the room in the secondary. Good move by Blunt back to the inside. Inside the 25. They have running backs for days. Moncrief trying to run it to the outside of the option roll. Deep, deep at that position. Second and 11. Moncrief ready to throw it. It's deflected. Rudy Harris grabbing it. AFC wildcard game on NBC Sports. Blunt on the carry. Getting a block to the outside. And this is going to be a 37-yard attempt. And Gardaki, for one of the few times this year, is missing it. It was straight, but it was wide left. Now he's going to work out of the shotgun with a minute 55 left in the first half. Verdusco to dump off to Wagner Lister for nothing. A loss of a yard. White shirts right on top of him. Second and 11. Verdusco with some time for one of the few times. The last couldn't hang on to the pass thrown behind him. And it's now third and 11, and they're running the ball with Fagan. Fagan will be well short of the first down. Got five to the 25, and that is it. A huge contingent of the Tiger fans coming down from Clemson, South Carolina. Best effort so far by Forey Wells, the Illinois punter. Dexter Davis inside his own 25, bouncing to the outside. Past the 35. So first and 10 from the 36. Is Sean Cameron's in there. And it's out to the 40-yard line of the 41. The clock continues to move. Complete to Witherspoon. All the Tiger backs have been in the game now. Any other NBC event in the area? Third niches. We'll get to it in a second. <laughs> Diving for the first down to Sean Cameron. And also 20 points. Cameron setting up the screen. Witherspoon winning. Flag down to the play. Witherspoon also down. We have not mentioned. Call in. Offense. With Griffin, Georgia. I think that's the home of Willie Gold. Cameron in trouble and pulled down. 
Mel Agee with the sack, the senior from Chicago. And that'll be the final play of the first half. The first half completely owned by the gentleman from Clemson, South Carolina. The Tigers with a 24 to nothing lead. What a surprising halftime score. That'll help your average. Lynch and Hamner waiting for the kickoff. It'll be Lynch. He'll have an attempt this time for the goal line. Getting to the outside and a nice return of exactly the average tight ends in a wing position. And two wide receivers. Stinky goes in motion. First and ten from the 26. It's complete. Sean Wax has it. He gave up the first down coming back on the ball, but positive yardage. He was hobbling off the field as he takes a break over on the Illini bench. Misdirection to Griffith. Bounces outside of the counter. And it's a first down for Illinois. First and ten. Play action for Verduzco to hold the linebackers. And a wide open Stephen Mueller complete inside the 40. Best completion of the day for Illinois down to the 38. First and 10. The 38 of Clemson. Verduzco jumping off the screen to Griffith. Griffith getting to the outside. Close to another first down for Illinois to the 29-yard line. Trying to get back in his football game. Second and less than a yard. They're throwing it again. Verduzco in trouble. Buying time for Finke. And good coverage. Third and less than a yard. Ball just inside the 30 of the Tigers. The pitch for Howard Griffin. Get outside to get the first down. Knocked out of bounds short of the first down marker. Biggest play of the game for the Illini. There to get back into it. Fourth and two out of the shotgun. It's Verduzco. Pressure. Fires and it's dropped by his running back. Camino Bell had the first down. The ball can do it all. Cameron takes it himself and gets three yards. Because they're continuing to play as he's over there watching the game now. You could tell he was in charge though. Ronald Williams. And a key third down early in the second half for Clemson. Leading by 24 at 33. Cameron. Trying to run it up the middle for the first down. Finds a little seam and has it to the 44-yard line. Doubtful, but we'll continue that conversation as he gives it to the dive man, Howard Hall. <laughs> Howard Hall in South Bend, Indiana. Cameron on the little shuttle pitch to Ronald Williams. Good pursuit, though. So, and he had to really bulk up with his option attack with the Clemson Tigers. Cameron throwing. He's got the fullback, Tony Kennedy. Second team All-American to boot. Over well, the head of Steven Mueller into the end zone, a touchback. We welcome you back to Tampa Stadium. Joel Myers along with the moderate shot. Happy New Year from all of us at NBC Sports. First and 10th, the Illini down by 24 at their own 20. Griffin for three. Facing a second and long now at second and seven outside of the 23. Trips. You can see on the near side, Griffin. The only one in the backfield. The pass complete. The tight end think he's got it for an Illini first down. That's it, nothing. Best buddy. First and ten. At the 35. Verduzco with plenty of time. Pocket holds up. As a man, Albert Turner and overshoots him at the 30 of the Tigers. Baker and Bell combining with the backfield, giving Griffith a break. Deep drop. And Verduzco has a man. Sean Wax can't hang on. Their leading receiver, the senior from Rockford. So now it's third and ten. They're only two of nine and third nine conversions. Well, the pocket hold up. Verduzco with time. Here comes the pressure. He'll be way short of the first down. Good pursuit and great coverage. His last punt in career best of 53 yards, and this one is blocked. The Tigers doing it on special teams now. Blocked by Brewster. White jerseys over by the ball. The dive man gets it. That's Howard Hall. Nothing doing on the fourth straight bowl game. For Doug Brewster. To Sean Cameron with time. And a receiver. It's complete. Terry Smith. Down to the six where it's first and goal. 
Michigan all Mississippi in the Gator Bowl. As that is it as a final. The pitch, Ronald Williams, nothing doing. Good penetration. The ground game has not been that overwhelming for Clemson. As Cameron gives it to Williams, he has had a rough day in particular. That is his third carry now. For the preparation has been exceptional. Third and goal, Cameron. Dump it into the end zone and does so. Another Tiger touchdown. Howard Hall. Flag down on the play, though. Ineligible downfield. It's that's true. <laughs> Third and goal. Cameron again with time. And then he can buy more of his own because he's got great mobility. In the end zone, he's got a man. Barely deflected. Quentin Parker got a piece of it. Quarterback's got to stop and get ready to set the throw. Going to be a 26-yard field goal attempt for Gardaki, and he's right on target. So the first points of the second half come with exactly five minutes remaining to the third quarter, and they come from the second-team All-American for the Clemson Tigers, Gardaki. Returnable tight. It'll be Lynch dropping the ball, retrieving at the five. Just barely tripped up across the 30 out to the 32. I'm having even more fun as an announcer. Verdusco on the quick one. Wax has it. He's got a first down hanging on this time. As opposed to 16 for the Clemson Tigers. Griffin on the pitch to the short side. Makes the most of it. Not much available. Second and six at the 47. Reduced over the pocket collapse. He was on his way down. Hammond was back there. Also, David Davis. Because you don't really have any more time to double pump and find another receiver. Come on, baby. 18 now. More pressure coming on for Dusko. Fires it. A low one. Did Wax come up with it? No. Corey Wells had the last one blocked. Gets this one away in fine fashion. It'll be Dexter Davis back in his own 20. some room past the 35 he's out to the 36 and now the flags it looked as if Derek Brownlow dead ball personal foul both ways we have an ejection both ways saying they will be better days son Bunch has got it back first he said at their own 36 is Sean Cameron winning the option Picking up Tiger first down. A little bit of that coming from the backup mind free. But out of the 250 yards, most of it by way of Cameron. Spinning for more. I think they, Coach Hatfield has quite all of that. Give him eight yards on that carry. 69 on the ground now. See, Illini stuffed that play. Coach Hatfield told us they couldn't have come from behind to beat Maryland in Baltimore. And they've not been able to throw the ball. Rui Harris banging away for the first down to the 35-yard line. Well, as you're watching it, players can see that they do need a little help. Deshaun Cameron. Five more to the 30. Let me clean it up a little bit, and you might be able to quote me. Second and five. Hitting spun backwards, Rodney Blunt. That's the end of the third. Still all Clemson at 27 and nothing. Be right back to Tampa after these messages from your local station. Tigers 27 and nothing up the fighting line eye of Illinois. Uh, the Tigers rolling right now. This is a third and short. Cameron holding on to the ball. He's out here having target practice. This is going to be an attempt of 43 yards. Has plenty of distance. And he's on target once again. Three more for the Tigers. And a 30 to nothing Clemson lead. Chris Gardaki just tied Obed Arreri. The career field goals on the all-time Clemson list. So the next one, and he is the all-time leader. Fans on the far side of the stadium have departed. They've had enough sun and band of soleil for the day. Taken by the up -down. He's across the 30. Squirts free to the 33. Still looking for their first points of the day. The first minute of the fourth quarter. Howard Griffin going nowhere. Second and 
and 10 instead of the 33. The dump off. It's back. That is backwards. Jerome Henderson, the cornerback, the first one there. Six defensive backs in there now on a third and nine. For Disco out of the shotgun. Pressure is down. Fourth sack of the day. John Johnson gets this one. That's his second. Away once again. Davis, O'Neal, the pair, still back. It'll be O'Neal from the 40. Staying alive on the sideline. Getting close to midfield. First down pitch goes to Ronald Williams. He barely gets a yard of the carry. Second and nine now from midfield. The backup quarterback, Moncrief, in there and ready to throw. It's overthrow. Yes. For the Clemson Tigers okay, now up loud. As there is a clip against the Tigers. <laughs> it's at the 35, 11 minutes left. Moncrief, the southpaw, has it battered up in the air, still floating around. And it falls incomplete. Mo Gardner is certainly one of those. He has his priorities in line, hard work from college athletes. The delay. Ronald Williams with his best run of the day. 15th of January, 4 Eastern, right here on NBC. Gardaki with the spiral, the fair catch called for by Mueller. The Illini going with their backup quarterback now, Jeff Kinney, a sophomore from Wheaton, Illinois. And he'll throw on first down. Yes, wax is complete. Out across the 43. Brought them back from a 21-7 deficit for a 56-21 win. That was again Griffith. And eight touchdowns. As Griffith is back. All the goals on this New Year's Day. Why do we on second and long? Off the fingertips of Steve Fagan. He's got a good arm. He can throw the ball. Sophomore just like Verduzco. Run down from behind, and a flag goes down. Hopper ball. Face mask. The ring took defense. Turn my finger Five green, and the ball. And the always serious Paul McGuire. Flags. Looks like a free down as Howard Griffith has the first down, taking it over to the right side. The Illini with the first down. The 38-yard line trying to avoid a shutout. Left in the fourth. Getting a time. And a receiver, Pinky, the tight end. He's belted out of bounds. Second and three situation. Ball down to the 31. Looking for the little dump off. Now going downfield. And there's going to intercept it. Jerome Henderson, the cornerback. Both sides. Defense. At the Clemson 31. They've got it first and 10 of the 26 of the Tigers. Getting in trouble. And he's on his way down. A flag. A grounding ball coming up. Professional grounding on the offense. Lost it down. Second out. So now it's second and forever. Over his shooting, the running back. Knowing Sam Jankovic, he wouldn't mind working for a man like that. Getting. Gets away from Davis. Downfield, he's got Mueller. And Mueller has the first down on third. And better than 25. Ninth play of the drive to start attack of the 19 for the Illini. He tried to score for the first time today. Flags on the play. Looks to be a free down for Kenny, and it's a completion. Deshaun Wax, the wide receiver. Offside, defense, illegal motion on the offense, penalties offset, there'll be a replay. What's up a physical defensive group? Not many people. Take apart Georgia. With Clemson to this year, Fagan. Just an excellent. Unbelievable. And they won 46. the Super Bowl. Yeah. 46 defense of the Bears. The Super Bowl. Buddy Ryan is their defensive coordinator. Part of the middle, way out of the reach. It's Sean Wax. But if you don't throw on rhythm against this defense, then you are in real trouble. If you have to reset and try to throw again, they are all over you. Third and 12 from the 14. Wax has it. Short of the first down. Out of bounds. Just shy of the five. Fourth and even longer. Fourth and almost six. They're all one to them. 
fourth down conversions. The only other try on their opening drive of the second half. The Tigers 31. Kenny out of the shotgun with pressure. Good night. John Johnson as it's pitched to Fagan and dropped. And the Tigers have it back. Chester McLaughlin coming up. Five minutes and 39 seconds left in the fourth. Plugs it with the ball. A 30-point lead looking at third and nine. Moncrief, the backup quarterback, short of the first down. 91. Nice punt again by Gardaki. Mueller back at his 25, wrapped up in a hurry across the 30. And another sack for Clemson. Getting in there, one of the reserves, Pierre Wilson. Of Second and long at the 21. And it's Camino Bell. Over Illinois. Offense, offsides on the defense. Still second down. 12 noon Eastern time, the wild card game on Sunday. Fagan on the carrier, make it Bell on the carry. Offsides, defense. For the University of Illinois when they were shut out by Ohio State back in 86. Camino Bell with the carry on second down. Past Illinois, silly. Third and eight, ball of the 34. Counter give, Bell. Short of the first down by a little bit better than a yard. Fourth and two. This could be it for Illinois. And avoiding that shutout. And they do get the first down. So we'll wrap it up here from Tampa, but don't forget Charlie Jones and Todd Christensen will fill you in with updates and all the developments over the final two minutes here at the Hall of Fame Bowl. For Paul McGuire and Amad Rashad, I'm Joel Myers. Happy New Year, everyone, from all of us at NBC Sports.